Happy Monday morning, guys. I hope you had a good weekend. Um, if you hear noise, Max is right here beside me. So, And for all of you that know that I need this, I have my coffee. So I'm ready to go this morning. Um, wanted to just touch base with you guys. Some of you did not do um, your work last week. I know that we got computers out on Friday. Ms. Durham and I and Mr. Hampton delivered some to you guys. Um, I went in and checked your eye ready and I checked your eye station. I need you to follow the lesson plans at least for eye ready and eye station. I know some of the other items you're going to be a little bit behind on for math and for reading because of technology issues, but everybody has equipment now. Everybody has um, internet access, except for a few of you that needed the mobile hotspots, um, and those should be coming out to you shortly. I need you to make sure that you're going on and checking each day to see what you need to do. Um, I think for my morning messages, I'll also go over your daily routine because we need to keep a little bit of structure. It makes it easier for me to keep up with what you're turning in um, to get things graded or to return it back to you and give you a chance to look over what you've done. Um, hats off to about three or four of you guys who are popping off things to me. Darian, thank you. Javion, I noticed you were online. Asael, I appreciate it. Thank you for sending me things to grade. Some of you I return things to just so you could look at them again. Um, another thing, make sure that you're, oops, I can't even talk today, <laughs> you're logging in um, under your information so that everything is easier to access. Um, I guess that's it for reviews and reminders. So let's just kind of go over what you do need to do today. Um, you have 30 minutes on iReady and also on iStation. I did not put a new assignment up because a lot of you didn't do the fractions on the number line review for iReady, so that's still there. Um, today's actual lesson is on Khan Academy and we're starting to compare fractions. So the videos are only each of them like five minutes. Um, there's introduction, then you get to practice a couple of times. If you just check your assignments, you'll see that it's there. I pushed all the due dates for everything out to the 29th. So that gives you time to get caught up on from last week and to kind of get on track this week. Uh, I think it would be a good idea if everybody just kind of like for math, sit down, work for like an hour, hour and a half, like we would normally do at school, take a break. That way you can get your things completed and not feel rushed at the very end to have something turned in or do. Um, lesson learned, that freaks everybody out, plus myself, and we don't want to freak me out, okay? Let's not do that. Um, I also put on there some Discovery Ed reviews for you, just in case you want to watch a couple extra videos. Um, that were not Khan Academy dealing with comparing fractions. And there's, I think, two of them. Yeah, there's two videos. And in reading, you guys are going to continue to work on or start working on your um, out of space. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. Outer space. <sighs> your story and story works. Um, you guys have your actual hard copy with you, your magazine, and then you also have the read aloud online. So just do things like we normally do in the classroom. Um, go over and do the vocabulary, the vocabulary slideshow. After you've done that, I think I attached also a quiz um, Quizlet, which has another review for you guys for the same vocabulary and there's some extra words. And then read your article twice, dos, two times, because the first time you're familiarizing yourself, the second time you're actually reading for comprehension a little better and for fluency. The pause and thinks, continue to do those as you read because remember that helps you to focus on the task at hand, what the main idea of the story is, and also helps to bridge between the one section to another section. And if you need to stop and reread before you go on, do that just like we would in the classroom. If you had a question about something and you're like, well, I don't understand that, then go back and read again. I mean, you've got all day. You have all the time in the world. You have more time now than you did in the classroom. Um, also, I know there were some questions about from parents what to turn in. 
just always make sure when you finish an assignment in either Khan Academy, um, Common Lit, ReadWorks, StoryWorks, whatever it is, always click the submit button. I think it's submit or finish, done. It changes depending on what website you're on. And then when you're in Power Learning, look under your activities, go to your assignments, and click hand in beside that as well. That way you're covered in like two different areas to make sure that what you did you get credit for. Because if it's not submitted or turned in or I don't see the hand in, I don't know that it's done and I can't score you and I can't grade you. Most everything is going to be graded online by the actual sites and then if there's any written work or extra that I ask you to do, that will be assigned or scored by me. Um, I hope you guys had a chance to play around with Seesaw because we're going to be using that and also a couple other, there's some manipulative sites, but I want to put a video up for you to show you how to use those before I actually assign it as a tool to use. Um, that's it. It's Monday. It's a whole brand new week. And I hope you guys take advantage of, you know, stretching. I think it's supposed to rain, like for the next three days, of course. But take your breaks in between. You're at home. You can chill out, okay? And just know that I do love you. I miss you. And we'll see each other at some point. I might just schedule a video conference for all of us so we can all say hi to each other, okay? Love you guys and take care.